Hey everybody, welcome back to Shots Life. This week we're back on the $10 boat and we are going to work motors. Yay, motors. Anyway, uh, that's the good news. The bad news is uh, the hard drive filled up and it when I downloaded the videos from the speed camera, it corrupted about 10 hours worth of video. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Uh, it is what it is. I think uh, the story will start a little choppy. I think I start with the second motor. I've already done the first motor. That video is gone. Um, on the second motor, though, I am fogging it and oiling it. And uh, there were a lot of things stuck. And we did some wire stuff that you're not going to see. Uh, but then we're, then we're uh, doing compression testing. So I think that's where I pretty much have most of the video from there except for the speed uh, video towards the end it's missing so it may seem a little choppy while i'll talk to you you know no my normal format is i talk to you and then i show you speed and then i talk to you and i show what i'm doing at a fast rate uh so this i'll probably talk to you and then i'll be talking to you again and it'll look like i skipped the step but that's the reason so anyway stick with me it's gonna be a good video regardless i think i have a complete story and uh yeah motor time let's get to work but uh, yeah, all right, well, let's get this other one opened up. We'll get the plugs in it, spray the carburetor and get the plugs opened up on it and get it sprayed up too. And then uh, we'll let these suckers sit for a bit. After I fog them, I'll probably come back and uh, throw some oil in them in the cylinders too and just let that cycle that out. Just to be well, air on the side of caution, you know. <clears throat> it's amazing how dirty these got just sitting in my garage. But I guess they did sit outside for a couple years. Well, here, that, what was it, a year? I guess it was about a year before I built my building. Maybe not even that long. See, look, I mean, these are just, I mean, I haven't even touched it. Look how clean that is. I mean, they're just clean, clean, clean. So, I have a feeling these are going to run just fine. That's my feeling. What I do with my sea foam. One of them smoked pretty good, I think is what he said. I would say they smoked. They're the, right, they're the, um, you know, mixed oil, whatever, so they're, BROs probably smoke pretty good anyway, I think. I mean, I don't, I'm not an expert by any means. That would be just my opinion, though. And this one's got a lot more corrosion on it as opposed to the other one. So maybe the other one was rebuilt at one time. Again, I have new spark plugs, but. But even like here, there's corrosion on this boat where like the other one doesn't have any corrosion on it anywhere. Yeah, all the cylinders are still good and wet from where I fogged it the first time. This side looks better. That side, I don't know. I don't know why that side's so corroded the rest of this doesn't look that bad. This motor definitely doesn't look as good as that side of the motor, but that doesn't mean it's gonna run any different. I think this is one of these, the hose, this hose came around and goes down. Okay, so that's hooked. Oh yeah, so this side isn't hooked. The little thing's broken. No, it's there. So what's the deal? I have to pop this off and get this thing hooked up. So this one's locked up all the way around it. That other one went on this side of that. So that must have broke before. I may have to get new hoses. It's kind of melted there too, under that. pulling on there. Slide that down a little bit. I can cut this off and get this put on there.
right, it's been about 15 minutes. I got the gauge on there. I ran it already with it open. We'll see what we get. Seventy two. <laughs> what do you make of that? Yeah. I think I think I missed this one on I lubed them up. I probably didn't get much lube in there. Or the probably the cylinder was all the way to the front. But uh Yeah, I'll take it. Seventy two. I uh I actually think we'll wait a little while longer. I'll come back to it again. We'll do it one more time and see if it keeps dropping. Because if it keeps dropping, that's no good either, right? But my suspicion is I didn't get enough oil on it the first time to seal it up. You know, I'd probably sprayed sea foam in it and other stuff, but I don't maybe I didn't hit it good. So again, we'll have to see it. We'll set it set. If it keeps dropping, we know we have a problem though, right? We can't just keep and you know, I can make it anything I want to by holding adding oil, right? Um let's just see what it does. All right, well I'll check back in, in about 30 minutes. We'll try it again. All right, I uh, waited and then I ran her again and we're back down to 60. So I got one cylinder at 60. So let me know where to go from here. <laughs> I'll get on to the forms and read, but you guys can tell me too. It looks like really like, like about 62, but that's still low. You know, that's not 70. Um, yeah, it's hard to say like right really where it's at, but yeah, 60. Let's see if that's 70, it's probably at 64 maybe. Uh, honestly um yeah so it's a little low still so we'll go with 64 yeah about 64 and uh so we'll run with 64 that's where she's at so i don't know what to do now so uh, i guess i have to read up and figure it out but we'll go with 64 and uh figure out what we need to do from here one cylinder all the rest of them are the same. These are spark plugs. Mm. All right, so I guess I'll just get these spark plugs put in here. I don't even know what to think about that. One cylinder, man. I thought we were going to have a clean sweep. I mean, I can't. I thought that was going to be the bad motor, to be honest with you. Turns out it's cylinder number four over here. So, uh, and that's not, by the way, that's not in firing order. That's just, I'm just, I labeled them one through six, and that's the one I labeled four. So, but, uh, yeah. Hmm. Well. I wonder what spark plug that one looks like. All right, so this is the cylinder number four that's got the compression issue. And then this is the it's number five cylinder, which they look pretty dang close to the same. I mean, they look like they're running rich, but they look similar. I don't know. Tell me what you think. All right, everybody. Hey, thanks so much for joining me this week. Uh, me and Tank are going to go try to figure out what we're going to do, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to go try to figure it out. And uh, yeah, I can't believe all of them are 70. I thought for sure this was going to be the bad motor. And this motor was going to be great because it's been painted up and re redone. So I thought for sure this one was going to be great. It's the one with the 64 PSI as opposed to 70. I don't even know that 70 is good, but when they all match up, it seems right to me. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so we got her all fixed up. We'll uh, go figure out what we need to do. We'll check out the forums and all that stuff and see if uh there's something out there that tells me i mean i know i could replace the rings right and they're probably i think you got to tear the motor down and do that at least take the head uh, yeah you probably tear the motor down and do that uh, that would suck but it's not something i'm unwilling to do um just to get these things running i know if there's a problem with the bros i was reading on the forums today they're like a thousand dollars each so <laughs> if those don't work we'll delete them uh, I know there's a big argument about deleting them or keeping them. I'm planning on keeping them right now. Uh, we'll see. I mean, you know, that's the way they were designed. Uh, there is an alarm system on them. The alarms are up there. I went and checked. They are wired in. So uh, we may we may just leave them until they, they've been figured out. Um, I'm probably going to get a solenoid for this side because, uh, you know, that non-start issue, I'm not sure. It could be the starter on this side, too. Whatever it was, it didn't do it again. Uh, the good thing for me is I'm on a lake, not the ocean. So if it doesn't start, I have the other engine to get me home. So, all right, well, we got to figure out that, that, that one cylinder and why it's low. We matched up to 70s all across the board, except for that one. So 
I'm going to go with 64 on that. And, uh, but it doesn't matter. It's still bad. We'll have to figure it out. All right. All right. So it's the next day and I'm just trying to kind of figure out what I'm going to do with these bad boys. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to try running them. I know 70 is incredibly low. I know I have that one that's uh, even lower than that. Uh, I do believe these are low compression. We'll, we'll find out. I know that they're going to be tired motors, but I think at 70, they'll all run the same. It'll run good. It just won't have a lot of power compared to what it used to have. If I can get them running, then maybe I'll talk, think, look into rebuilding them. Uh, rebuild kit's about $1,200 for them, it looks like. Uh, but I kind of want to see if they're going to run first. And I also want to run them and then check the compression. You know, this thing's been sitting in the same exact location for a long, long time. And it may take just a little bit of wear to get the compression back up. Now, I may be dreaming too, but, you know, as they clean up, get oiled up better and uh, start functioning. And definitely warm enough, they're going to have a different compression anyway. So I don't know how much that'll give me, but it'll give me more. Um, and then we'll see where, in the, where, in, where we are in the range of... Anyway, before I run them though, I want to change the impellers because I don't want them overheating. And I have the impeller kits already. So I'm thinking about dropping up in the lower ends and uh, doing that. Uh, from what I can see, these are kind of a pain in the butt. There is a little bolt way up underneath there that it's hard to see uh, that you have to take out. Oh, here's my flashlight, let me do that. There is a bolt way down in there that you have to get. Yeah, and this VRO system is right in the way of that, but uh, I'll have to figure out a way to get in there. I know that the trim motor on this one was uh, not working correctly, so we will have to play around with that a little bit to, uh, to see if we can get her to go again. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I may hook them up, play with the trim on it. This one's still hooked, I think. So I, I'll hook the rest of it up and mess with the trim and uh, go from there. Anyway, I do know that that rod goes up to here. So you're gonna need that much room. I mean, that's from there to there clearance to get that thing out. And that's not gonna do it by hitting the ground here. So it's definitely gonna have to be trimmed up or I'm not gonna be able to get them out. So there's lots of things like that to think about. So the two bolts at the top, they're gonna be tough to get out, uh, but I don't think that's gonna be the toughest part of the job. I think getting them back in after I get it all lined up and everything, is gonna be the toughest part of the job. Cause it's gonna be a mess. I'm gonna be trying to, like I said, you can, you know, I have to see, you can just kind of fit it and get it on there when you're taking it out, but you gotta line it up and all that when you're putting it back in. So that's gonna be a pain. I don't think this is gonna be a big deal once I get that out, we'll see. It has been in salt water. I don't think it's, I mean, I don't know when, actually I have no idea if it's ever been apart before or not. We'll worry about that when we get there. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of the plan. Get the impeller swapped out, get some good water going up to the heads or to the engine. And then um, once we get that done, I think we'll try firing them up. We'll fire them up. We'll test, test compression again once they're warm and they've been running for a bit. Uh, and then if we have decent results, then I'll maybe I'll rebuild them, you know. Uh, a couple of people have said just put new motors on there, you know, a couple of dual 200s or something like that is like 15 grand or whatever in that neighborhood. Depending on, I mean, that's used. I mean, you know, good old ones. Um, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not looking to do that. I'm looking to put these back on there. Now I may cut down to one if I can't get the good looking one running. <laughs> it's funny to me that this is a good looking one and it's the one that has the one cylinder. I thought about a lot of things like tightening up the heads, but I mean, how, how old is this thing? And if, if that's the problem, I don't know. It could be. It could be the problem, but I doubt it. But, I don't know. Anyway, let me uh, work on getting that bolt out of there on both these. All right, I just want to kind of show you what I end up doing here. So I got my long bar uh, that would swivel in, and then another extension, and then it goes, hopefully you can see that it goes down in there, and the socket's down there on the bolt. So I think it's going to work getting it out. I just can't see getting it in like this. Boy, that's going to be, I mean, I can't even get my finger in there. I may end up taking the carve off or at least this cover to even get my fingers in there. You know what I mean? When we put it back on, we'll see though. All right, let me get going. All right, well, I don't have the SD card in that. So it wasn't even recording anything. Grr. Yeah, stop beating at me, I know. Anyway, uh, so I got, used my little wrench combo and got the thing loose. Now I'm gonna use this magnet stick to 
get it out of there there's my little pin so that's undone so that's good so this one's done i just need to do the other one again putting this back in but i think you know i think i'm gonna use this little magnet thing and put it back in look at this do 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 oh look at that that's the way to get it in there right there boom okay so i think we're gonna be okay as long as we can get the shaft aligned with the deal hey uh i was watching danger marina before i did this and he doesn't have a shaft at the top his is actually at the bottom on the on down there it actually lines up down here on the engines he was working on so the johnson's never used the older ones probably a little different but um he's the one that said to put it in reverse before you pull this pin so that you can so that you can turn the prop and change the spline and realign the spline so i thought that was a good bit of information so if you're doing this please don't watch me to learn how to do things <laughs> watch me to learn how not to do them and then watch danger marina and born again boating and those kind of people for to learn how to do things <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put this pin aside. I'm just gonna put it in my little box right here that I got all the other boat, little parts in, and we're gonna go do the other one. So I guess the good thing about having two engines is I get to do this twice, except for I'm on the wrong side. I need to be on the other side. <laughs> all right, let me switch sides and we'll get busy. <laughs> I could have sworn it was on that side. It was on that side. So why is this one? What am I looking at? Am I looking at it wrong? Yeah, I'm looking at it wrong. It's on this side. Okay. Don't listen to me. I've only done it once already. <laughs> All right. Drop our little wrench in here. You got to see this. Craziness. I wonder what the dealer did. Did they pull the heads off every time they heard a thing apart every time they did I don't know that's not the bolt so now this one's a little different I can't see it as well nope dropped it it's not good and it's right in that area right there oh you know what I better put it in reverse that drop it Yep, I dropped it right in the right place. See, that's cool. That's what's going on. Keep that sucker in reverse. All right, let's go. Oh, that's tight. There it goes. I don't know if that's all we got or not. My little magnet. Bam. And it is not out yet. Yes, it is. All right. Success. All right. So now I need to get this hooked all up, but I think I want to tilt them side out this way and this one out this way, kind of side by side, so that when I tilt them, I can pull this one out at an angle this way and I can pull this one out at an angle that way, kind of diagonal from each one. So I need to move these engines around and get them all set up so that once I do move them, that I can actually, because like right now, if I, even if I lift it up, then I'm going to be hitting this. So I'll get them hit sideways and uh, or at an angle at least so I can get the because I mean that's a long way to go. It's right there. It's gonna come out through that whole tube. That's just gonna be a lot. So let me get these lined up right, and then we'll uh, see if we can't uh, get this thing to lift. All right, so that tilted pretty well, and uh, we got her up in the air. Probably uh, probably higher than I need to be. I need to get this hole soaked up though. I know that. I put all that oil in there now it's all dripping out the front out of the carbs um so anyway that worked out really well another trip that danger marina had said i definitely want to give him credit because i'm taking his ideas uh was to put a tie down strap around the bottom lower unit so that when you did start pulling bolts it wouldn't just fall out on you now i don't think mine's gonna just fall out by any means i think i'm gonna have to work on it to get it out we'll see though uh but i definitely don't want to be in a position where I said that and then I have the lower unit on the floor. So we will take heed to what Danger Marina says and just a little fault protection there. You don't have to have it. You don't have to have it crazy tied in like that. Just enough to catch it if she starts sliding. And I think that'll be enough room by the time we're down there for that to make it. I don't know how heavy this lower unit is, though. Mm. Yeah. 
I won't worry about that till, well, until we're worried about it. <laughs> so as soon as I gotta take out this uh, deal back here, and those are Phillips screw drivers. They didn't show Phillips anywhere around there, but two of those are Phillips. And there's a bunch of bolts under here I had to take off. I wonder if I have to pull a prop for this. Yeah, I think I can get a socket wrench in there. I guess I wouldn't have to do that. You won't be able to use a driver, right? So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's seven bolts total. But um, in my case, I'm going to have to take off some Phillips. All right, so as I'm cranking this last bolt out, I'm starting to get a gap. So I just need to kind of hit it on this side to get it detached from up here, I think. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. It's probably stuck in there somehow. I'm not really sure. I'm worried about that because that's going to be a pain, I think. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I also need to get some more rags and get my oil soaked up here. Let me do that real quick and then we'll continue on. <clears throat> it's coming right off. I don't need to go get them out. <laughs> I wonder, I'm wondering if we're going to get in here and it's going to be brand new or newer. We'll see. Well, it won't be brand new, it'll be years old, but if they weren't replaced before too long ago. I'm gonna keep my leg here. I know that strap's on there, but I only get to the end of that strap and then be like, whoa. All right, so that's out. So what am I gonna do with it when I get it off here? <laughs> I'll find you and that out real quick. Let's see. How heavy do you think that is? Probably not too bad, huh? I wouldn't think so. Let's see if we can... Oh, yeah. Lost mess in here. I would say it hasn't been worked on. Now that I'm looking at it. Okay, let's get rid of that. Get out of the way. You're not even watching, are you? All right, so that wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know what this O-ring here does. I'll have to see where it is on the other one, but look at the damage on that one. That's definitely didn't go in seal right, didn't hit right, I don't think, anyway. Uh, I definitely need to power wash these out, which we'll do in a while, but uh, yeah. Nasty. Oh, there's some mud divers in there too, huh? Was that the exhaust port? Yeah, so the exhaust port's pipe full of mud divers. You see that? So we'll need to get that cleaned out too, huh? Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? I wonder what else is in there. Yeah. All right, well, let me get the uh, wiring and everything off of this motor onto this motor, and then we'll see if we can get it to tilt back. This is the one that I think we're having trouble with. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, let me get this uh, wiring transferred over. And hopefully this one goes just as well. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, we got all our cables hooked up except for the battery. I'll hook that up when I get in here. And then this is the one we're having trouble with the tilt. So hopefully she can work out pretty good. We'll see. I think I can tell I've been touching this thing. It's like how dirty it is already. Dang it. Self, don't do that. Okay, that should be good enough to raise her up. Yeah. That's what I was worried about. All right, so my wife gets off in 20 minutes. I can't get this thing to budge. So uh, I'll go ahead and take this fin off while we're doing it. I know we got it working one time before. I know it's a pain in the butt. Um, Nothing's warm or hot or anything like that. But I'll have her hit the switch while I'm messing with it. That way I can kind of figure out what's going on. I'm sure this motor needs to be replaced. But, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we can't get her going. We got her going once before. So maybe we can get her going again. You never know. You never, never know. You never know. But, uh, yeah, we'll mess with it some more, see if we can't get it going. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to take this fin off just so I'm not messing with her before she's off work. 
I should be off work in 20 minutes and I can jump on getting this work done. So let me do that. Man, it is getting hot in here. Woo. All right, so that was crazy. I took that bolt out for the fin and this fell out. So it doesn't even have a bolt. It doesn't have a bolt in it. How weird is that? So I don't know what the story behind that is. And you know what? I didn't get to the point where I was marking this yet. That sucks. So I don't even know where. So I guess this little chip is where that that bolt goes. So there you go. Yeah, the chips are the way the bolts go. Okay. Well, at least I know where it goes. Um, that's all that was holding that in. No bolt. Hmm. Huh. Shady stuff. We'll have to figure out a bolt for that. Of course, we know the size, so I'll take that to the hardware store and get one made up. Hmm. That was kind of freaky. There's not a bolt up in there either. No. Huh. Wonder what happened. Well, maybe the bolt just came out over the years. Or maybe when it was traveling here from California. But who knows? All right, well. Thanks. Let me get back to work. That little fin off there, so that's good. I guess I could loosen up bolts except for leave two in or whatever, or one up in here, the very last one, like we did last time. So I guess I could start loosening all those up and then getting them ready to go. It is not in reverse. I thought I had it in reverse on this one. So I pushed it in reverse now, but I mean, I'll have to push that down one notch for it to set up right. But we'll figure that out when we get there. I'm, I'm confident we can get it, but uh, not the way I wanted to get it though. So uh, yeah, let me... Uh, Start taking bolts out of here. Dang, 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 dang. Hello, tank. Hello. Hello, tank. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, buddy? Hmm. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Tibby. All right. I need you to get in the boat. Carefully, without killing yourself. All right, up. Up. I did. Just keep going. Stop. All right, that's it. Turn the key back off. See that one I got a part of there? Mm -hmm. The other one I got a part of there. Well, these ones, I gotta change the impellers. All right, we got it out there. That's pretty wild. The, uh, this one came out a little stiffer. I don't know what was holding up. I think it was this bar here. It didn't want to come through, but uh, we got it. And then the exhaust uh, little thing there, it, it came out, which is weird. A uh, bunch of junk in there. Like I said, we'll get these things power washed and whatever. Look at all the bees and stuff in there. We'll get that all cleaned out. It's not, not as bad as the other one. The other one has mud daubers inside of it and it's all blocked off. So um, this one seems to be cleaner than that one, but definitely is gonna need some work. So we will figure out how we're gonna do this and uh, get on it here tomorrow. All right, one of the subscribers, Joey from the Philippines sent this in there and it looks like he's cutting the back of his transom out. And uh, he added, his, started putting his wood in looks like uh, then he gets it all in there and then he fiberglasses it up. So it's looking really good, Joey. Thanks for the pictures. I appreciate you sending those in. Cool to see what other people are doing. All right, everybody, that'll be it for this week. Thanks so much for joining me. Sorry about the video being a little choppy, uh, but we're in a good place. We got the lowers off. We will rebuild them probably in the next video and uh, we'll go from there. Hey, appreciate you guys. See you next week.
Yo, it's Tank. Like and subscribe.